North Korea is a rogue state, ruled by Kim Jong-un, the supreme leader. He gained power in 2011 upon the death of his father, Kim Jong-il. Kim Jong-un has a reputation of oppressive governance and one-man rule. He has pursued a nuclear weapons program, raising tensions with the United States and its allies. Kim Jong-un has also built an elaborate cult of personality around himself as part of his rise to power. He is presented in the press as the infallible and all-knowing ruler of North Korea. North Korean citizens are expected to worship Kim Jong-un and the ruling regime. A strong cult of personality has led to a paranoia of dissent and a tight control over information. Kim Jong-un has imposed oppressive restrictions on the North Korean people, including restricting free speech and media, and heavily censoring the internet. Kim Jong-un has also been criticized for his human rights abuses, including harsh labor camps, executions, and public humiliation for those who disobey his rules. The North Korean economy is heavily sanctioned by the international community as part of the effort to pressure Kim Jong-un to abandon his nuclear program. Despite these sanctions, Kim Jong-un has maintained the North Korean economy through corruption and personal wealth, while neglecting the needs of the people. North Korea's nuclear program has grown significantly under Kim Jong-un, with the country testing several nuclear weapons and long-range missiles. This has heightened tensions between North Korea and the United States and its allies, increasing the risk of a nuclear conflict. However, Kim Jong-un has also made progress in developing diplomatic relations with other countries, especially China and South Korea. These improved relations have helped to de-escalate the nuclear crisis, although there is still no guarantee of long-term stability in the region. Kim Jong-un has also sought to improve relations with the United States through direct negotiation with President Donald Trump. In June 2018, Kim Jong-un and Donald Trump held a historic summit in Singapore, in which the two leaders agreed to work towards denuclearization. In less than a year, there have been numerous developments between the two countries, including the return of North Korean prisoners the dismantling of nuclear testing sites, and the signing of a non-aggression pact. Despite these developments, the future of Kim Jong-un's rule is uncertain. It remains to be seen whether he will ultimately be successful in his pursuit of increased stability and improved relations with the United States. Kim Jong-un has also faced criticism for his government's continued oppression of the North Korean people, as well as the deepening economic crisis in the country. In response to this, Kim Jong-un has sought to increase economic investment and improve the lives of the North Korean people. However, Many analysts have argued that his economic policies have not been successful, as the country's economy remains heavily reliant on foreign aid. The international community has largely condemned Kim Jong-un and his regime, and he remains subject to international sanctions. Despite this, North Korea continues to be a powerful rogue state whose leadership remains under the control of Kim Jong-un. Despite attempts at reform, Kim Jong-un has yet to make any lasting changes to the country's system of oppressive rule and economic policies. 
North Korea's human rights record has remained largely unchanged since he gained power, leading to further international condemnation. The situation in North Korea is still tense, and Kim Jong-un's rule remains controversial. Many analysts are uncertain what the future holds. In recent years, Kim Jong-un has sought to improve his international image by appearing in the media and engaging with world leaders.